In this video, I'm going to show you how to create some custom color effects on your WordPress menu uh, using Elementor. So this will involve a little bit of custom CSS, but don't worry, you can find that in a link below. Uh, so you just have to copy, paste and modify. So uh, toward the end of last year, I uh, did a site for a company who had some pretty strong brand colors uh, in their logo and they looked fantastic and bright and vibrant. And I had the idea of actually separating their site sections out into those colors, which worked really, really well. Uh, as an addition to that, I thought it would be funky to apply that to the menu. Um, now, not only does it look fun and a little bit sexy, uh, but also it does help with user interface and, and just makes the site intuitive. Uh, as soon as they've glanced at all of this, they know the color indicates a particular section and that applies for, for the navigation as well. So that's really, really cool. So I'm going to show you how to uh, achieve this effect in a normal WordPress menu, no mega menus included. And also because this does include custom CSS and the use of color in that, I'm also going to show you as a bonus how to apply Elementor global colors into your custom CSS. And what that means is that once you've put that color or value into your custom CSS, you don't need to then go and change that if you change your Elementor global colors, which, you know, is is a pain uh, so it's best to have things in a global sense and why not apply that to your custom css okay so here we are at my tutorial site it's uh, it doesn't look spectacular but we do have this uh, effect applied to the menu and obviously this is just red yellow green very blah colors uh, for the sake of you seeing what that is but we will change those colors out together and you'll see how to do it okay so um Let's go to the edit page. Now, what this consists of is a typical Elementor header. And then as you can see, we've got the WordPress menu. Uh, I'll just note while I'm here that we have the pointer set to none. Uh, that's just the way that I've approached this. I apply that in CSS. Uh, so set that to none, but otherwise it's a pretty standard WordPress menu setup, but you can play with the settings as you need. Uh, the text color initially is set on the style tab. Okay, so uh, popping along to the advanced tab and go to custom CSS, this is where all of the magic happens. And as I've said, you can get this in a link below. So we have a very simple menu setup here. We have three items and uh, I've actually named them here so that for visual reference it's easier. But the way we actually target these is through the menu item number. So you can see here, we've got menu item 419, 419, 419, 419, and then we go to 418. And as you can see there, these are nails and this is makeup. And so it's good to keep everything well labeled. And each of these different bits of you know, CSS code are targeting a different aspect of this setup. So here we have the menu pointer and I've made it four pixels so that you can see it more easily in this example, but you can play with that as you need and obviously change anything else out. You can also change different values in this. It's not a problem. You might just need to have important on there to override the WordPress menu style tab, but have a play, see what you can do. Uh, so that's targeting this. Um, the sub menu of nails bottom border, uh, that would be this one down here. And again, it's targeted with menu item 419. Uh, here we have the drop down link and that's actually the color and the uh, text color there. Um, but then of course we've got the hover effect uh, targeted by the by the hover code there, whoosh, that one there. Okay, so you can change any of these values as you would like and have fun with that. Um, and But just be sure that obviously when you go to the next menu item, we start that cycle again. We start with the pointer and just make sure you put in the relevant number uh, for the menu item. Okay, first things first, how do we obtain that menu item number. Well, bop along to the front of your site. So you do need to create the menu, well, create the pages, create the menu, publish it to the front of your site, and then go along and right click and go up for inspect. So whether you're using Firefox or Chrome, it's the same, just open the inspector. If you're using anything else, then the big question is why. Um, I'll zoom in so you can read it a bit better. And what you can see here is when you're hovering over these uh, or hovering over these different bits of code, 
uh, you can see the different menu item light up and we've got these little list items. And this is where you need to have a look. We've got menu item 419, then we've got 418 and 417. Great, we now have our menu items. Just to show you that if we right click and inspect on another menu item and go to the list, you can see that we've actually now got 295 being the about menu item. Just bear in mind that if you change your menus around or move them around or delete one and put one back and all of that, you do need to come back and get a menu item number again, all fresh. But that's how you obtain the actual menu item number. And that is what you apply to this copy and paste code. So your three-step action plan is obtain this code from the link below and paste it into your WordPress menu custom CSS. Next, you need to get hold of your actual menu item number and modify the code accordingly. And third, have fun with the styles by modifying the code here. And that is how you apply this custom color effect to your WordPress menu, which looks absolutely awesome. So that's how you apply that awesome custom color effect onto your WordPress menu. And it's a very, very simple process once you know how to do it. But as you've seen, there are places where you would be modifying the color. I was a bit lazy in this example. I just wrote red, yellow, green. Um, but otherwise, you would have to be using the hex codes and you know pasting those in. Now, what you would often do is to tie that into your Elementor global coloring. You might bop along to your site settings and obtain this code and then start editing all of the colors in. So let's say, for example, you felt like having the drop down menu be the, the red or whatever color that might be, your brand color, you would have to paste that into here. And then you might want to also apply that to the bottom border. So you'd have to apply that hex code that you've obtained from your site settings into that space. Much better, I think, to place a value there that can change as you adjust your global colors. So let me show you how to do that. On this site, you can see that I have created, obviously, the, the primary, secondary, and accent colors. That's all great. But I've also got custom colors. And these would obviously be the brand color one, two, and three. And so we've got those here. Now, I've applied those to something on the front of the site so that I can easily obtain them. And what I want to show you is that if I right click again and go to inspect, uh, I, I clearly have this element uh, being the background color that I want it to be. And what we have here is this value here, background color var is a background variable. And we have this unique identifier right there. So if I copy that, I've taken just to remind you, I've taken this brand color, which is this brand color one, taken it from the front of the site from inspect, and I've obtained this value here. Now, if I go up to the nails tab, let's change the nails tab, and I'm going to, instead of putting red or another hex code, I'm going to place this var statement, global color, 184 blah, 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 I'm also going to place it here. Well, let's hover over that. You can see it's already changed the global color. Amazing. So let's do that in the other locations. There we are. We've now got the global color feeding in or custom global color feeding in from Elementor into this menu. Uh, why don't we change the hover cover color of this menu? So uh, we'll take this one and apply that there. Oh, there we go. Look at that. And then, of course, we would want to turn that white. I think that looks pretty funky, don't you? OK, so let's uh, rush through that and obtain the other one. So we want to take this one. So inspect. I could have just highlighted over it or clicked it. Uh, var, and you see that we've got a different unique identifier there. Just occurred to me, I'm going to swoosh my face somewhere else. Uh, and you can see what we have here. So so I've highlighted the item here. And then we have this var here. OK, so that is the code that we need. Bring my face back, hi again, and pop along to the editor here. So we've got nails, but we don't want to do nails. We want to do this one. 
Now I'm going to, and if I zoom out and just test that, you can see that we've got the global color applying there as well. Cool. Okay, zoom in just so that you can see a bit more. I'm going to grab this because it has the important with it. And we would like the bottom border to be this. And we're going to do the same. Oh, no, we're going to do the same with the hover. Look at that. That's looking great. Okay, and uh, run through that process one more time. And just so that you can see, I will swoosh my face away again. Uh, we're going to highlight this item. Okay, so background color var. I just want to show you actually, these are my primaries. So if you want to get your primary and your secondary and your accent, look at that global color. It's actually just called primary and then secondary. Okay, and then uh, I've not actually checked before, but I'm assuming it's accent. Look at that. Very easy to do. So let's uh, bop in here and let's change this out. Okay, that's all done. I'm going to zoom out a bit so that you can see the effect that we have, at least in the editor. Look at that. Absolutely awesome. And these are all tied in with the global colors that are pulling through from Elementor. So I never have to go back into that custom CSS ever again. Whoa. Uh, let me show you what I mean. If I bop along here and I change this one to, let's go with a color that we know that we've completely not used um, and update that. Cool. Bop along to the page and refresh. So what we've done is we've applied the uh, the, the global custom colors uh, to a few elements actually. So we can see it's changed already on this. And the big question is, has it changed in the third menu item? It has, how wonderful. So that is how you apply custom color effects to your WordPress menu. So you can do it menu item by menu item. And on top of that, I've shown you how you can bring uh, global custom colors from Elementor into your custom CSS so that they have that global value. You don't have to keep going in and changing your code once you've applied it in there. So have fun with that and uh, let me know if you've got any further questions, but don't forget you can get that code in the link below. Uh, so click through, get the link, copy paste, modify it, have fun. Okay, cool. Like, subscribe and uh, thank you very much. I will catch you again. Bye-bye.